Hello everybody, our dance here and welcome back to Yeah, that's right, Hikari. <laughs> welcome back to Sky Full of Stars. So let's continue with the game. Come on. Yeah, the last time, as you remember, we set up the antenna. So after that, we went to Corona's room. And well, now we are here in a new day where we are gonna get the receiver, right? Let's get into it. Come on. Yeah, come on, Orihime. Oh my god, her sexy voice, though. Alright, it's here. Yeah, the receiver. The receiver is here. Yeah, yeah, I know that, dude. I thought it would arrive next week at the earliest, but I was pleasantly surprised. Mm, that's great. Oh, according to Konoka, there was little demand for HRO receivers, so production was entirely order based. Oh, that's great. Mmm, I love your juicy melons, Konoka. Ah, <laughs> sorry. That's why it took more time than normal made ordered items. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's take a look inside. Yeah. I opened the cardboard box. Small silver box lay inside, nestled in bubble wrapped. Whoa, look at this. So this is an HR HRO receiver. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a fucking decoder, you know? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the design was really simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can tell. It had a power switch that than volume dial, as well as ports for the antenna cable, audio output, and power adapter. Yeah. Look at this. ATEC M Rex 50 SA. HRO receiver. We don't even need to set the frequency, huh? Mm. It was a machine designed solely for radio media observations. That was clear. The frequency was probably fixed at 53.750 MHz. I'll connect the antenna cable first then. Now, where's the fun in rushing though through it along? In the excitement of getting the receiver, I wanted to set it up right away, but I came to my sense. Mm. I took out my phone and started typing. Oh. Hey, the HRO receiver is here. Oh. Gonna test it, so come over. Yeah. yeah Alright, come here, my little waifu. Mm. I'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting here with my fucking antenna, you know? Oh my god, it's pretty big. Ah, come on, okay, stop talking dirty bullshit or dance. I only sent the text to, Hon to Corona, not the Six Stars Club group chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, because I'm working with her. I guess I should have invited everyone. Yeah, them right, dude. Why are you doing this, huh? It's because you want to <laughs> be along with your little girlfriend, huh? Mm. Yeah, that's right. Fucking pervert. <laughs> But I wanted to share this joy with Corona first, first of all. Yeah, okay, anyway, yeah, that's cool. Where are you, my girlfriend? Huh? Oh, it's raining, what the fuck? She's taking her time, isn't she? Mm-hmm. But, oh man, all right, guys. It's going to rain, look at the fucking sky. So, when Corona arrives here, and then started raining, she won't be able to go home. Which means that... Oh man, don't tell me! Well, as you know, this is not the Pultos version, but... We are gonna get a H E Sing. <sighs> Fucking game! Oh my fuck! <laughs> These motherfuckers from Pultop! Ah. Almost an hour had passed since her reply, but there was still no sign of Corona. Yeah, yeah. The afternoon sky was clear, but as evening neared, the clouds got more menace. Yeah. The sky was already covered in a thick layer of cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to rain. Fuck. I don't like the rain, you know? Doesn't look like it will rain at least. You think so? Look at this! Come on, bitch! The weather forecast on my phone said it was going to be cloudy. I don't think so, dude. Look at that! It's going to rain! Come on! <sighs> there was only a 10% chance of rain, but clear skies were out of the question. 
But you know, the fucking writer doesn't give a fuck about this. So he's going to rain this shit and you're going to get along with your fucking waifu. Oh, <laughs> oh my fuck. All right. Yeah, it's night time. Oh, corner right. Yeah, don't worry, girl. <laughs> I think she ran to come here, you know? Oh, fuck. But, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you guys, I bet that it's going to rain at some point. Yeah, I'm telling you. Corona burst into the club room. From the way she was catching her breath, I could tell she really rushed over here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she sounds pretty agitated. <gasps> Oh really? What did she have to tell you? Huh? Here, drink this and cool down, yeah? Take some Gatorade. I gave her the bottle of tea I was about to open. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like Nuke Nukem. Ah, uh, much better. <laughs> Sorry. Oh! Feeling human again, Corona took off her coat and sat down. But you're using your old uniform, girl, come on! Where are your Meiko Academy uniform, huh? Ah, anyway. I'm glad for that, you know? Yeah, you're so fucking welcome. Mm. But more importantly, what about your mom? Uh-huh, yeah, that's right. What did she tell you? I knew that dealing with Corona's mom was no joking matter. Yeah, yeah, I can tell because she's a bitch. Hmm? So, what did my mother-in-law say? Huh? But what did you do? If you say so? Ah, come on, girl. I was worried because Corona has been kinda all over the place lately. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's right. I mean, I hope your parents won't suspect that you lost your virginity and you're doing some dirty shit with this motherfucker, huh? Ah. Don't worry, baby. I will wait for you forever, you know? Because you are my sweet and little girlfriend. I love you so much. Ah, sorry, fuck. I'm, I'm cheesy as always. I'm fine, just reread the explanation of the homepage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do some work, girl. Yeah, Mr. Mr. It's here. Here it is, delivered to the Astronomy Club this afternoon. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? I showed it to Corona. Yeah, just like you, you know? <laughs> uh, I think the board is compact. Uh huh. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to get some complex stuff, so this is pretty cool for us. That's right. Limited functionality made things easier for us. We didn't need it for anything other than radio media observations. It's getting late, but if you are up for it, I was gonna hook it up to the antenna and test it out. Mm. Are you okay for time? Oh, that's cool. All right. But I'm for sure that it's going to rain. I'm telling you. Yeah, fucking bastard from Pultov. Ah. Okay, let's do this pronto. Uh -huh. Let's do this soon. Pronto. Is this a Spanish word? Pronto? Yeah, because you know the word soon in Spanish is pronto. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Ah! Eh, hey, listen. Ah! Eh, hey, yeah. Keisuke and Kawanakajima. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. Had already set up the antenna for us. Yeah, that's right. We just had to insert the antenna cable, which was hanging from an opening in the upper window. Okay, it's connected. Ah, you mean this one? Yeah, the laptop? Let's test it without a computer first. Alright. 
Leaving the notebook PC on the desk, I connected the DC adapter to the receiver. The HRO receiver needs 12 volts DC, which the DC adapter provides by converting the normal 100 volts power from the wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, plug the speakers into the audio terminal. If the antenna works properly, we'll get output in the form of sound. Mm, yeah. Ah, great. Aside from the notebook, all necessary equipment was connected. We just had to turn on the receiver and adjust the volume. Oh, listen. Alright, that's cool. The sound. There was no sound, yeah. Mm, don't worry, girl. We're gonna figure it out later. <laughs> But I hope you didn't fuck up the shit or else we have to <laughs> send that thing again where it came from <laughs> and, and wait another week to get another one, yeah. Yeah, you know the warranty shit? Uh, no, this is fine, alright. Yeah, just this noise, but anyway. No sense, you heard the static, don't you? Hmm? Yeah, but it's just sound, come on. How are we going to know that this shit is working properly? Loosely speaking, it's called white noise. If you hear this, it means the connection is okay. Oh, right. Yeah, but I think you're reading the man manual, right? Okay. That was the explanation of the homepage hat set. Oh, great. Looks like our first test is a success. Ah, right. All right. <laughs> But come on girl, if the whole page says that we are doing good, so it's great! Come on, cheer up! It's okay, no need to rush things. Next, let's connect the computer. Yeah, that's right, I mean, you you have to get the, the things in in a in instant, right? Oh, come on! <laughs> and that's the thing I don't like from Corona, because she rushed too much, you know? And most of the things she rushed too much about uh, when it comes to love. Oh. Yeah, just calm the fuck down, please. It, I turned off the receiver and plug in the notebook. There were two kinds of audio outputs. One went into the notebook audio terminal, the other was connected to the speakers as before. Yeah, that's right. With that, we finished reconnecting all the cables. Okay, Corona, could you turn on the computer for me? Hmm? Hi. Switch on. Switch on, listen. You? And then she's going to turn that shit down. <laughs> oh my god, Akini! What the hell did you <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, no, it's a nonsense joke, but oh my god. I can't imagine that she, that they, she could fuck up the fucking computer. <laughs> oh fuck, that would be pretty funny, you know? <laughs> Come on, let's go. The notebook took a while to finish booting up. Ah, huh? great. All that was left was to launch the program for stationary observation and adjust the volume. Yeah, great. I wanna turn up the audio input volume. After a while, the white noise we heard earlier emerged from the notebook speakers. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Now, we just have to keep an eye on the observation program and wait for a reading. Mm. Alright. Yeah, but please calm your teeth down, girl. Okay. We match the notebook so that all audio outputs would come from speakers. Mm. Amid the buzz of white noise, we wait for the meteors to fall. Alright. Look at this fucking clock! It doesn't have the arms! What the fuck? Uh, there was nothing to do. Uh, it's a bit boring. We quickly found ourselves just staring at the notebook screen. Hmm. Oh? Alright, look at this! This is the screen of the computer, right? Ah, that's great! The program was updating its frequency over time graph in real time. Mm. Yeah. 
Look at this shit, huh? Kilohertz. Even without a meteor showa, there were always meteors in the sky. Mm, Alright. But their numbers were low, and some days there be close to none. <laughs> oh fuck. Really? They said that we have to wait for an hour or so. Uh, that's pretty boring. Uh. Uh, sorry, I know you can't stay too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you have to go to your house, you know? Uh, but as I told you, I think it's going to rain. Fuck! Corona's result was starting to fade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's getting disappointed, you know? We had known from the start that this wasn't going to be much for a visual activity. Hmm. But it was a waiting around with nothing to do that was hard to take. Yeah. Mm hmm. Corona made a valid and painful point. In fact, seeing something that and getting it right away made a huge difference. Yeah. I understood why some people said stars had value in being seen. A sky full of stars, yeah, the name of the, the, the visual novel, moved people instantly. That's true, but look, it's cloudy outside. Yeah, that's right. And suddenly, it's going to rain. Now she can go to her house. And she got to stay here with this motherfucker in this room. Oh, oh yeah! It's sex time, dudes. Oh, sorry, sorry. The sky was completely overcast and there wasn't a star in sight. Mm -hmm. That's right. Corona sounds disappointed. The stars are invisible, but these are ideal conditions for radio observations. Oh. Really? Because of the clouds, we can't see the stars, but think about it. That's why we are doing radio observations, right? Hmm? <laughs> you know, it's pretty funny, her, her face like this, you know? Her mouth like this. She looks a bit silly, but I love this. <laughs> mm-hmm. The universe held many mysteries, and for us here on Earth, there were things that just couldn't be seen. Oh, that's why the Hubble Space Telescope, telescope was built. That's why huge parabolic antennas, all listening for the faintest radio waves from space, were built. They were all products of our desire to learn about things we couldn't see. <clears throat> Coincidentally, tonight's cloudy, cloudy skies means we can see the stars. That's why it's perfect for radio observation. Mm. <laughs> Again, yeah, I knew it that she could say that. <laughs> yeah, come on, <laughs> she sounds like a fucking <laughs> rubber duck. <laughs> for tonight, we don't need to look at the sky. The antenna would serve as our eye. The radio waves it, it emitted would eventually hit a meteor and come back to us. That was the moment we were waiting for. Mm. Ah, what is it? There was some movement in the stationary observation program. Oh, After a few moments, we realized that the dots were stretching out horizontally. Ah, that's great! Nah, that's probably an aircraft. Oh, anyway. Meteors wouldn't produce this response. Lines like this were made by slow moving aircraft, apparently. Oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But we got our reach out, so when a meteor comes, we're definitely going to see something. Mm hmm. Let's wait a bit longer, yeah. 
Ya. Ja, kom op, mijn little duck. <laughs> Humans got exceptional eyes. Every time I look in the telescope, I was surprised by the extent of our vision and our capacity to detect brightness. Even without equipment, we have the ability to look up at the sky, the night sky, and see stars with our own eyes. But here we were, for foregoing our eyes and waiting for faint radio waves. There was something indescribably romantic about the in the in the ball. Mm, yeah, that's right. Because you are here with your little girlfriend. Mm? Yeah. What is it? What? <laughs> what? Why are you telling me this shit, huh? It's fine, I know how you feel. Yeah, because you are a bit boring, you know, but anyway. In my mind, I was shooting at the meter to hurry up. Yeah. But impatience never helped anything. Damn right! <laughs> Uh, but you know you want to uh, to get uh, to get this thing uh, uh, already. Fuck! Only the stars knew how long we wait. We had to wait. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine that. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Corona leans over and rests her shoulder on mine. Ooh, oh my fuck. Alright, girl, this is a pretty romantic woman. That's nice. The heat is on, but still cold. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's get some warm. Yeah, it's cold. This feeling of waiting to get closer. <laughs> I sense it too, so I gently put my arms around her shoulder. I mean, don't you have air conditioner here? Ah, oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> so you wanted to get to get this shit, right? Yeah, you wanted to get a hug. Ah. You're easy to read. Uh. <laughs> that itself was yet another clear sign. Mm. Leaning her whole body on me, Corona smiled and her reached over. The club room was filled with constant buzz of white noise. Mm -hmm. Along with the sound of our breath and beating hearts. Oh yeah, a sound. <laughs> a sound, I heard it. I heard it too, yeah. Source online said that I, it sounds like a boom, but it was more like a high-pitched whine. Alright, let's see. Quickly, we look at the screen. Oh, look at this. There was a faint sign. Mm -hmm. Just a few dots likely end, end into the graph. Yeah, and listen to this music, you know? It's pretty fun. It sounds like, like a Christmas song, you know? Listen. Yeah, with the bells. <laughs> oh, Santa Claus is coming, dudes. Ah, Merry fucking Christmas to everyone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Absolutely, that was a meteor. Oh, great. <gasps> oh, another pig. Look at this. Ah, really nice, huh? I love this. <laughs> ah, she looks beautiful, you know. Ah. <laughs> but come on, gang. Why can't we see the face of this motherfucker? Huh? I mean, is he so ugly for this shit? Ah, come on. Yeah, because he's the main character. You can see his face. That's how visual words work, you know? Fuck. Yes, you have to imagine that you are this motherfucker. I actually can imagine that shit, you know? Because I'm controlling this fucking guy. Ah, anyway. But look at this pig. It's really beautiful, you know? I love Corona. Corona's body, you know? Oh, ah, she's so happy. This is so, 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 so amazing. So, so fantastic. Ah, ah look at my little wife, huh? She's really, really cheerful right now. We join hands and jump in excitement. I think she's the only one who is jumping because look at look at you. You're just staring the light. Like. 
Oh, Riker, call the fuck down. It was just a fucking dodge. <laughs> it was just a simple song, nothing beautiful about it. Uh, for a reason, you are not excited about that shit. Uh. But it was proof that Amicia has passed by. Oh. Uh, look at your face. <laughs> uh, me too, and I usually miss a lot of them during normal stargazing. Mm. We didn't really know why we got so excited. But come on, you're not so excited, look at you! You're just standing there like... Nothing happens! She's the only one! Ah, Maybe it was because we realized it was, pos it was possible to see even without using your eyes. Mm, that's right. Before that moment, I had my doubts. Huh? Even though so many people had actually done it and written about it, I still wasn't convinced. Mm-hmm. Mm. But in that moment, all my doubts had been erased. Ah, oh, come on, enjoy this moment with your girlfriend. Aha, uh -huh, that's cool. Even with thick clouds obscuring the sky, radio waves pass through them and, and hinder it. Mm, that's right. The clouds over our minds lift and we were full of joy and relief. Look at that! Oh my god! Ah! That was a Mitya! Oh, wow! Whoa! We got another Mitya! That's right! Come on, girl! Make a wish! There was another high pitch mine! Mm -hmm. Look at the screen! The graph's a bit longer, too! Ah, it's a bit longer, you know, and it's getting <laughs> longer and longer, just like my cock. Oh, okay, sorry, come on. Stop talking dirty jokes in this beautiful moment, dude. What the fuck? The display was just a few dots longer than the first response. Even so, we heard the difference in the sounds, and it's much, much clearer that, that way. <laughs> yes, even though we can see them. Oh yeah, I can tell, you know, fuck. The sounds will just keep coming, I'm sure. Yeah, me too. There will be more sound, more sounds, but you can also look forward to hearing long echoes. Mm? Ah, great. Apparently, it wasn't the meteor itself that stayed in the sky. But the trail it left behind was that what caused the long echoes. It all had to do with the deflection of radio waves, all of which was invisible to us. Oh, all right. Oh, again? The meteors were on a roll. That was the third wine of the evening. <laughs> this is great. You're so lucky to get this shit right now. Corona was really getting into it. Mm, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, look at her. Yeah, you're so fucking happy, girl. I'm so happy too. Yeah. Now, let's share a kiss because I want to share this moment, this beautiful moment with you. Mwah! Ah, sorry. But today was just a test, actually. The real aim is collect data over a period of time. Mmm, fuck. So we had to put this thing uh, to get this thing turned on the the 24 hours, right? Mm, all right. I mean, are we going to do some some tour, uh, some travels in a, around the country? Not the country, the world. Oh. Yeah, many ma amateur astronomers observed meteors by radio, apparently. Uh, look at the city. It's really nice, you know? Wow. Look at the view. I love this. And there were a lot of people that shared their data with other people. Ah, great. The data collected within Japan would less sent out to the whole world by the project representative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's spirit girl. 
と思わないどれだけいるかわかんない全員が仲間になるんだよ<笑>ああ、ディスガール。シーソーイノセン。うん、チェアプル。You know I love her? <laughs> Maybe that's the real joy of radio observation.、Huh? Yes, that's what I thought. Number of astronomy fans keep dropping, so we were always looking for new ways to get astronomy fans together.、Mm, that's right. The Sisters Club had been created for that exact purpose.、Mm -hmm. For people who share a love of the stars to work together. But it only went so far as our neighborhood. It's very small scale, scale, scale but I feel like we touch the edge of. VLVI、oh. mm -hmm, Yeah, or else we are gonna do a camp in this place. So many people, and they were all connected.、Mm -hmm. Like the fucking internet. <laughs> I was one person among them, and so was Corona. When we realized the magnitude of that fact, our excitement became irrepressibly. Oh, what is it, girl? What are, you, what are you going to tell me? I love you? <laughs> I know, I feel the same way. Taking Corona's hand, I shared in the emotions that almost made her tremble. <laughs> Come on, girl, just say it. <laughs> She's so excited, you know? And that it's that moment Corona had taken the first step of her journey into the world of astronomy. Radio observation was an anthropological gateway, but it was still one way to look it, looking at stars. She just did so with radio waves, not her eyes.、Mm -hmm. There are some feelings we have only for things we cannot see. Mm, yeah. Holding Corona's hand, I felt kingly the bonds we share with our unseen fellow astronomers. Huh, look at the photo, our numerous friends who weren't here. You remember this pic? <laughs> oh, okay, but this is pretty different because I remember Orihime was here in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> look at Keisuke. It looks like he's having a stomachache. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this.、Uh, but, and this is the, the photo we, we took when we were with the Pleiades Mom. I remember that. But Orihime is here. She was in the middle. Ah, anyway. Ah, look at Hikari. Yeah, to be honest, I miss her.、Ah, where is that bitch? Anyway. Yeah, she's outside Japan. But anyway. With everyone's help, we were going to solve all the mysteries of the universe. Do you find something to lose yourself in? Hmm? Okay, come on, stop doing this shit. I'm so fucking annoying. You're fucking retarded shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But I love her voice. You know, it sounds really cute. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. She talks like Tasa, you know? Because she's like, Kurene, Kurene, Kurene. She's talking like in、um, third person. Yeah, that's the correct word. Sorry. That's right. Ah, I'm so happy for you, girl. 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 Ah, I'm so happy He's doing a, a blog. That's cool. Yeah, she's writing a blog. That's great. Mangets in Chikai Otsuki Samaga de Tate. Zanen Nagara, condition wa Marioka Arimase. Hm. Demo, Corona Tachiniwa, Denpa Kansaka Arimas. Nice. Conna Tokikosa, Denpa Kansaka, Sono Shinka, Hakisurno des. Hm. 
Oh, we were at our usual observation spot near the Hoshino Dam Lake. Alright. Mm, look at this place. I don't remember this. In line with the peak of the Eta Aquarit Meteor Showa, the Steel Stars Club held a stargazing event. Oh! Oh yeah yeah now we know the... Yeah yeah now we remember this place yeah yeah we were here before sorry 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 Alright so we are gonna do an surrogacing event again Yeah listen Alright Everyone respond to Club President Honoka's call Yeah that's right We are gonna do this shit my busty president <laughs> It's a accurate the radiant point for tonight's Mitya Showa was about to appear in the east sky. Mm. And later, at its down approach, the radiant would ascend higher into the sky. Yeah, yeah, remember this place even here before. Sorry, guys, but it looked a bit different because of these streets. Uh, anyway, it would start off as a low attitude observation, but everyone had their ideas of how to enjoy the Mitya's. Some were taking photos with cameras mounted on tripods. Huh. All set out sheets on the ground and laid down, look up and waited. <laughs> oh, Saya. And <laughs> And then there were those who listened to the sound of the meteors. Alright, oh, look at your outfit, girl. Ah, it's, it looks really nice, you know? Ah. Yeah, to be honest, she looks really beautiful with her uh, Meiko Academy outfit. Wearing the Meiko Academy uniform, Corona gave me the signal. Oh, <laughs> Hinami is here too, uh, with her uniform. Yeah, you look pretty. You look pretty boring, girl. Ah, great, well done. In April, Hoshino Daichi's Astronomy Club had welcomed a much needs new member. Oh, really? So she's one of the of us too? All right, welcome in the club, girl. Huh? Her name was Hinami Yamada, a friend of Corona. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, little bitch. <laughs> mm. The equipment installed in Kochino's Daichi was engaged in 24-hour stationary observation, even now. So we have procured a new HRO receiver and antenna for radio media observation outdoors. So even in stationary observation continuing, we were now able to listen to the meteors while actually looking at the them at them outdoors. Oh my god, I'm thirsty again, sorry. Ah. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go, come on. Oh, Oh my god, Orihime. <laughs> Damn. Damn, girl, your body's banging. Ah, oh, sorry, fuck. Oh my god, I love her, you know? She's so beautiful and sexy. <laughs> fuck. After gra graduating from Meiko Academy, Orihime showed up from time to time as an alumna. Oh, great. All right, now she left the school. That's pretty sad, you know? Uh, but anyway. She's coming in the Sisters Club events, that's cool, you know? So we can see her. Tonight's event was with the Sisters Club, so she was especially enthusiastic about joining. Hmm? That's awesome. Mm -hmm, yeah. We've been working as at it for a while. Two months has passed since the first time we had heard the meteors. Aura, oh, oh really? Oh my god, just two months just, just has passed? Ah, that's pretty quickly. In that time we learned about antenna adjustment and data collection, and we also read up more on radio meter observation. Alright. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. 
Corona had chosen to go to Meiko Academy, where she was now under Honoka's care. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Yeah, because now it's her senpai, you know? She's her senpai. Ah! She no longer used the, the nickname Yoshi Yoshi, but it still slipped out sometimes, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's her style, you know? Fuck. And when she leaves the school, Corona will be her successor, right? Yeah, I know that. Right for you, girl. Mmm, that's great. She talks like a senior high school girl, you know? Ah, cool for you, girl. Ah. Kornak stood in front of everyone and began her explanation. Mmm. うん、うん、ナスクレイト。地球の大気上層には電離層と呼ばれる部分があって、そこに流星物質がぶつかると電子とイオンに分離します。この現象を電離と呼びます。わお、シストキンライクえ、ピッチャーフロントコレージ、
Even those who had their own ideas on how to enjoy the meteors were turned in, 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 turn into our radio observations. Yeah. <laughs> this sound is music for their ears. <laughs> Corona, take a look at this monitor. Oh? It's in our assignment, we'll stop paying attention to the meteor sounds. Alright, let's see. No, not at all. Oh my god. Our reverberation, that sound like it would go on forever. It lasted for a full minute and then, some, then it suddenly stopped. So that was a long, e a long echo, yeah. I was so overwhelmed, I couldn't speak. Everyone around us feel, fell silent too. Yeah, it was so good. I love your sparkle eyes, but oh man. Uh. Yeah. I'm impressed, you know? Yeah, to be honest, I'm so impressed. I thought a meet, uh, Jaika Mitya will crash the air. <laughs> that was impressive, seriously. The excitement is still fresh in mind. I turned to the computer screen. Wow, this is really something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool, girl. Instead of the usual felt few dots, this response looked like a belt of dots. So that's what it sounds like, amazing. Hmm. Astronomy fans across Japan are probably experiencing the same reactions. We have joined a group chat for radio media observation enthusiasts. Oh, that's cool. Through it, we saw a whole host of reactions in real time. Oh, they're watching this shit too? <laughs> that voice of Marimo? <laughs> it's the first time I I re read this kind of shit, you know this kind of name. What the fuck? <laughs> Takemura. <laughs> this reminds me of ta Takamura from Hajime no Ippo. Ishi? <laughs> Are these real names? <laughs> Everyone was really fired up. But that was under understandable with so many stars falling tonight. Corona, let's say something too. Hmm? <laughs> yeah? Okay, please calm the fuck down. I can't help it, sorry guys! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look her voice, fuck, sorry, but it's, so, it's, it's really cute, you know, really beautiful. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Radio meets observation is the best. Ah, Akito. It didn't really matter what we said. Our hearts were bursting with its excitement, which no words could do justice to. Mm hmm that's really awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for you, girl, you know? Mm-hmm, yeah. Now you grew up. So, this, the new Corona is a pretty clever and pretty well, yeah, you're so welcome, baby. Hmm? I should be the one to thank you, Corona. I never felt this much joy before. Hmm, yeah, that's right. You rescued me from my loneliness. So now, as my girlfriend, we're gonna share our love for the stars around the world. With this fucking radio wave subscription shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, truly. <laughs> this sound again. The sound starts falling was still coming from the speakers intermittently. 
How long would it go on for? I wonder. Yeah, me too. Oh, look at this! Beyond the heavens of the, far, the far side of the night sky, meteors were li lighting up as they turned into plasma. Ah, uh, look. Oh, man! That's right. Ooh, only a few meters were visible to us. Yeah, come on. Make wishes, dude. Huh? But with our ears, we sense many, many more. Hmm, that's right. <laughs> proof that she was here, even if she couldn't be seen. But speaking of proof, our recordings were waiting for us back at school. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Ego, ego, fuck, no, please. Alright, calm the fuck down, dudes, come on. I took Koro's hand and called out to Honoka. Honoka, we are going back to the club room. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Alright, great. Uh-huh, cool. Yeah, thank you so much, girl. Yeah, you go, you go, like Aeja. You go, you go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, where? Sure, where to? Alright, let's see. Oh, uh, here? Corona brought me to the platform of the abandoned station. Okay. So... I'm confused, guys. The part when they were in the Hoshino Daichi's room, that part wasn't supposed to be an Aichi scene? Or maybe this one? I don't know, but you know what? I'm gonna nerd here, okay? This is our place to save because I think the video is taking a bit long, so we're gonna continue the next episode. Yes, right, Hinami. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, where are you, bitch? Yeah, I miss you. <laughs> All right, let's see the gallery first. Yeah. Here. Right. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. Look. This is the pics we uh, we got from Corona's route, right? So I think we have just one to get, right? Which means that the route is ending. We are finishing the roots already. That's great. Yeah, let's see the pick. Oh my god, look at this. Really beautiful. Hmm? Uh, I love Corona, you know? She's so happy, cheerful. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> Alright. So I think I'm so close to finish the route, right? Let me know, please. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's it. <laughs> this shit. I remember this. So, okay, guys. So, my question is. Wasn't this scene supposed to be an itchy scene? Uh, anyway, fuck. If only I could play the Pultos version, you know? Fuck, anyway. So thank you so much for watching this, guys. It was a pretty nice episode, yeah? So I'm so happy that Corona now is acting like a great girl from Meiko Academy. And I'm so happy that she's sharing a lot of beautiful moments with her boyfriend and her friends. Alright, so like, give me a comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Stay tuned.